What's up, everybody? My name is Antoine Wade, and I run the Black Heights channel where we talk about careers, management information systems, and life skills. And in this video today, we're going to be talking about computer science versus information technology. We're going to touch on careers, degrees, salaries, and more. So guys, I'm choosing to make this video because a lot of people don't know the difference between computer science and information technology, and I'm looking to provide some clarification to just that. I've gotten a lot of questions in the comment section of this channel, and I wanted to provide some guidance and some clarity to it. So if you look at it like this, computer science and information technology are two distinct subjects, despite there being many similarities. Generally, computer science refers to designing and building computers and computer programs. And information technology, on the other hand, refers to maintaining and troubleshooting those computers and their networks, their systems, their databases to ensure they run smoothly. So while working in a computer science based job might mean that you will create software, design websites or gather information on visitors to a website, a career in IT can mean that you will make sure that the computers are functional and secure. The line between IT and computer science is often blurry. Sometimes working in IT will require knowledge of computer science principles and being a programmer will mean that carrying out tasks are considered more IT related. And sometimes jobs that are computer science heavy like web development or software engineering are referred to as IT work. And with all that being said, it is understandable why there is some confusion between computer science and IT. But here are the basics of what you need to know. Though there are many overlaps between computer science and IT, computer science work generally means designing and building computers and computer programs. And IT work deals more with running the computers of an organization and making sure that the related networks and systems and security are operational. And salaries range widely for both IT and computer related based jobs with some average base salaries climbing over $100,000. Some entry level IT work that doesn't require a four year college degree may have lower salaries. And if you don't have a four year degree, it may be easier to start work in IT than in a computer science based role. Let's now talk about computer science versus IT careers. Careers in both IT and computer science can take you in many directions, but they have distinct paths. Jobs grounded in computer science will broadly mean working with programming languages or data to develop or improve products. And jobs in IT will focus more heavily on operational of computers, their networks and systems so that others in the organization can do their work smoothly. Now, there are several roles that might straddle the line between computer science and IT like cloud computing or database administration. Now let's talk about computer science and IT salaries. Jobs that require specialized knowledge to build, program, or maintain computers can require past experience or a degree which can lead to higher salaries. And because some generalist entry-level IT jobs don't often require a four-year degree, they may have lower starting salaries. And here are some samplings of salaries from various computer science and IT related jobs. As as you can see, a computer science job as a web developer can make an average of $68,000. On the other hand, an IT related job of a computer technician will make an average of about $37,000 a year. Computer science as a robotics engineer, you can make $90,000. As a help desk technician on the IT side, it's $40,000. As a full stack developer, $98,000. As an IT cybersecurity specialist, $78,000. As a software engineer, $104,000 related to computer science. As a system admin on the IT side, $79,000. And there are other jobs such as an AI engineer, a backend engineer, data scientist on the computer science side. And as you can see, a computer science degree or computer science major does command a higher salary because it's more of a specialist role than a generalist. Now, what are some of the skills that you will learn in IT versus that of computer science? Well, some skills that you 
you'll learn in computer science will be things like programming languages like Python, C++, HTML, CSS, JavaScript. In IT skills, you will learn programming languages, especially around scripting like Python and PowerShell. Computer science skills that you'll learn, it's typically things like statistics, algebra, calculus, all that math uh, to help you with your analytical skills in IT, more in a troubleshooting methods type of skills that you're going to gain. Computer science, more the familiarity with coding, sharing platforms like GitHub. On the IT side, it's more of like the network configuration. And I got a question from one of my subscribers that said, hey, Antoine, can I switch from IT into a computer science job? or vice versa. And making a switch from a career in IT to something closer to computer science or the opposite is possible, but you should make sure that you have the appropriate skills to make the switch. And if you want to become a front-end engineer, for example, you might find programming languages like HTML, CSS, and JavaScript useful to know. You can get a good idea of what skills you would need for the position by looking at several job descriptions. And from there, you can take courses to enroll in a boot camp or find other ways to gain the skills that you need. Now, how does one get started in IT and computer science? A degree can can set you on a solid path to being competitive for many types of computer-based jobs. And I say it all the time on this channel, management information systems, computer science, and computer information systems, all those type of STEM degrees will really help you to gain an entry into you know, an IT or computer science related career. In IT jobs, however, particularly entry-level ones might have less strict degree requirement. And if you're looking for ways to break into IT without having studied college, you can look into getting an entry-level IT certification or consider a professional certificate like the Google IT Support Professional Certificate. Well, what about computer science degrees versus IT degrees? Well, many universities and colleges offer computer science or related degrees like computer engineering. Some may also offer information technology degrees or information technology specializations within computer science. What exactly do you learn in these degrees and which should you pick? Well, computer science degrees generally aim to teach you the basics, mathematical and scientific concepts behind computers and their programs. A degree in computer science can have you designing software and hardware, learning programming languages, data structures and artificial intelligent concepts. Computer science degrees might require mathematics, statistics or engineering courses. On the other hand, a degree or specialization in information technology can teach students essential systems uh, related to things like networking concepts, security practices, and application development. Similar fields of study can be called information systems as well. Now, which one of these should you pick? Well, many of the principles underlying computer science can also be applicable to IT job. Computer science might be broader and prepare you for a wider field of careers, but if you know if you're interested in IT, concentrating your studies on IT concepts can be beneficial. So don't forget that there might be other related degrees you can get like computer engineering or data science or management information systems or computer information systems as well. So guys, I hope you have enjoyed this video. Do me a favor and go ahead and hit that like button and that subscribe button to help us grow this channel. And until next time, y'all, peace.